Oh, oh hey, didn't see you there. Uh, I was just doing my afternoon worship. So uh, my name is Ben Gormley and I'm on worship staff at New Life and uh, I'm going to be bringing the devotional for today. Um, our, our verse is 1 Chronicles 16, 11. And the verse says, go to the Lord for help and worship him continually. So the question we're going to be asking is, um, is there a command to follow in this verse? And in this verse, there's actually two commands to follow. There's the command to go to the Lord and there's the command to worship him continually. So I love this, this first command, go to the Lord for help, because I think it really reveals a lot about our Father's heart for us, um, that He wants us to come to Him for help. He's, he's not a Father that wants to send us away, uh, but He wants us to come to Him. And uh, it's just like my son, Phoenix, and he's been building Legos uh, today, and he's asked me for help a few times, or more than a few times. And it's not like I said, no, Phoenix, you can't, you can't have my help. I'm not going to help you. Um, no, of course, I'm for him. I want him to succeed in his Lego building or whatever he does. So of course I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to help him. That's the same heart that our Father has for us. I and mean, he's for us. He has good plans for us. And he wants to um, do great things with our, with our life. And, uh, and so, um, and, and again, too, if, if we ask for something that's not in God's will, it's not good for us, kind of like with Phoenix, if he asks for a ton of candy after he's already had a piece of candy, I'm not going to give him all the candy he wants because I know it's not good for him. That's the same heart our Father has for us. He's not going to give us something that's not good for us. So we can trust that everything he gives us is good, even if that causes pain for a season. Now, there's been seasons in my life that have caused pain, but I look back on them, and I'm thankful for the character that he built. Um, the second command is to worship him continually. And I love this command as well, because worship just means worth. It's like, it's like what, we, what is number one in our hearts. Um, and God wants to be number one, because that's the best thing for us. Um, I know for me, if I put something else in God's place, if I put Megan, my wife, in his place, she can't bear that, and it's not good for our relationship either because it's it's too much. If, I, if Jesus is number one, then I'm receiving the the his love in my life, and then I can just I can love my wife freely. Anything else, a, a calling on our life, if we put that in place of God, it, it just causes it wreaks havoc in our life. But if we put God number one, it's it's the healthiest place for us to be, um, because He's worthy. Amen. So um, let me pray for us, and and let's just go before the Lord. God, thank you for your goodness to us. Thank you for being a good father. And we just pray that today, God, that we will come to you if we need help. God, that we will worship you continually and keep you number one. If there's anything else in that place, God, please just reveal that to us. Help us to, to have that, uh, that right order in our lives. So God, you number one. And then for us just to flourish um, with, with that, uh, that mindset. In Jesus' mighty name, all those people said, amen. Amen.